Alright guys, how's it going? This is Kenneth Moore here and in this Blender tutorial we're going to be looking at how we can actually customize our workspace. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in Blender and I have uh, just a general scene uh, set up here. And the first thing we want to look at is how we can actually maximize our area and how we can toggle the full screen uh, mode. So if I want to uh, maximize a certain area, I can uh, hover over it like this one right here. And then I'll press Control or Command if you're on a Mac and then Spacebar. And then it maximizes the area. And then press Control and Spacebar again to get out of it. And then if I want a totally full screen area, I press Control and Alt and Spacebar or Command uh, Option and Spacebar if you're on a Mac. And it totally full screens it. And now notice that um, our side toolbar is gone and this header that was on the bottom is gone as well. Press Control, Alt and Spacebar to get back and then you're back. And this works for the other areas as well, so I can do it over here, over here, etc. So that's pretty cool. And uh, these options, they're also found up in the uh, view. If you go down to area, you have them right here. Now we have also this uh, toggle quad view, which is uh, pretty handy. It lets us see all of our different uh, directions in Blender. So we have a top view, front view, right, and then the perspective right here. So that's pretty cool. I'll turn that off. We also have this close area option, which you can do in some uh, panels or areas. So if I was to select this, it would close out the 3D viewport. All right, I'll go back and I'll switch this to 3D viewport like this. All right, now we can also uh, pop out the different windows if we want. So uh, if I was to simply go up to the corner right here and I press shift and then left click and then drag, notice that it pops out the window that I've selected like this. Or if I wanted to pop out this one, so shift, left click and drag, it pops up the uh, 3D viewport. And this is really handy if say uh, you have two monitors and you want a certain um, area on a certain monitor. So uh, you can use that. Go ahead and close this down. And in some areas in the headers, it'll give you the option to pop out that header. So the 3D viewport, we have the option under view, area, and then duplicate area into new window. So we have it right here. Now we can also uh, flip our headers. So these headers up here, if I was to right click on it, I can select uh, flip to bottom and it puts it to the bottom. Flip to top, it puts it on the top. You can do this for all of them, etc. So that's another tool that you have. And then we can also uh, zoom in and out on our uh, areas as well. So. So if I'm on a certain panel and then I press uh, control or command if you're on a Mac and then hold my middle mouse button and then drag, I'm able to zoom in and out. And this works also in your timeline right here and in your properties panel. It doesn't work in the outliers panel though. So uh, some panels it may not work in. So that's just the um, way that you can make things bigger or smaller if you like uh, it a certain size. Now you can also change the resolution of your entire uh, layout. If you go up to edit, preferences, and then you can change the resolution scale. And that literally just maximizes everything right there. I'll set that back to one though. All right, now let's look at how we can add some more areas. So. To do this, it's pretty uh, simple. You simply just go up to the corner right here and then you click and drag out and it brings a new uh, area. And this works on all the corners. So, so if I go over here, I can click and drag and drag out another one. And you can just change how wide they are by clicking on the borders like this. And if you drag left to right, it's gonna create a vertical border. But if you drag up and down, it's gonna create a horizontal border. And now if we want, we can change these areas into what we want them to be. So let's say I wanted this one to be the image editor and this one here to be a video sequencer. I could do that. All right. Now, how do we actually close these down? Well, 
It's uh, pretty simple. You simply just click in the corner right here and then you drag up into the other area and whatever area the arrow is pointing at, that's the area that's going to be collapsed or deleted. So it deletes that one. And then if I do this and I drag to this area, it's going to remove the one on the left like that. And I'll get rid of this one as well. And I'll switch this guy back to 3D viewport. And you can split these down here as well if you want. And you can collapse them as well. All right. And also too as well, some areas will allow you to split it uh, from the view menu. So go up to view, area, and then split, horizontal and I can split it right here. Now there's also another way that we can split and collapse our areas. So if I go to a border of a certain area, I'll choose this one right here, and I right click, I can select vertical split, and now notice that it splits it. And if I was to go right here and I select horizontal split, it lets me split it horizontally like this. All right, now if I wanna get rid of them, I can. I can simply uh, just press join areas and it brings them back together. Now we can also swap areas as well as you probably just saw. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can simply uh, right click and then select swap areas and it swaps the areas on which the border is on, like that. But another way that I find a lot uh, better and more convenient is to simply uh, go to the corner right here and then hold down control and then click and drag to the area that you want to swap it with. So like this or like this. I'll switch it back. like that. Now, once we're done uh, making all of our changes to our layout, how do we save it? Because uh, we may want to use it for the future. Now, the way that you do this is you simply go up to file and then you select uh, defaults and then save startup file. So I will go ahead and I will save startup file and then it will be saved for the next time that you open up your blend file. And in Blender, uh, you can really just customize so much here. So let's go ahead and let's just start customizing. And I'll show you guys an example. I can even uh, get rid of like the objects in my scene right here. And I can uh, create this ecosphere, make this a little bit bigger. All right. And then I could even, uh, let's make this a little bit smaller. And then I could even say, go over to the uh, renderer type and I'll select workbench. And then if I save this as my startup file, Blender will actually save this with all of these settings. So I'll save it here. Save startup file. And then if I go up to file and new in general, because I save this in the general, I don't even have to save it. Don't save. Notice that this new file that Blender has opened has all of the default settings that we saved. And since I was working in the general uh, preset, uh, these settings have been saved to the general. Now, let's say I wanna go back and I actually want to get rid of these settings and I just want to restore everything. How do I do that? Well, you simply go down to defaults right here and then you say load factory settings, press okay, click on this and it brings you back to what you had originally. But if you wanna save this as your general or default again, you have to uh, go up to file defaults, and then save startup file. And then the next time you open a blender under the general, then it will have these original settings to it. So that's just a little bit about how we can customize our layout in Blender. We hope that you learned something in this video and that you'll be able to work with Blender more effectively because of this. Now, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, be sure to subscribe below and to click on the bell and we will see you guys in the next one. Until next time.